looking for some easy ways to improve your bus models stick around we'll show you how we do them hi welcome back to St Blasey Mod. in this video I'm going to show you three simple entry level steps that you can take to improve your model buses so we'll start with this EFE Bristol VR Western National model bus and it's a nice enough model but looking at the underside we can see that it's painted blue the same blue that's used on the livery and is there anything wrong with that well not really except that if this model was displayed in a model case with glass shelves and it was on the higher shelves you might be looking up at that blue chassis and thinking that's not really real so what can we do about it well the most obvious thing is to paint that chassis in a black because that would represent a much more realistic look to our model than the bright blue So before we apply any paint to this, there's a couple of things that we need to do. Firstly, we need to remove the tyres and pop them somewhere safe for half an hour or so while our black paint dries. And the second thing we need to do before we apply any paint is to use some form of degreaser just to remove any uh, dirt or grime that might be on this model. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel it's free to do so and if you hit the bell icon as well you'll get an alert every time a new program is released this costs you nothing but it does help me grow my channel okay let's get on so tires removed next step a bit of degreaser my particular degreaser of choice is nail polish uh, remover but you can use some white spirit anything that's likely to evaporate uh, fairly quickly and remove grease so that you're ready for repainting so we'll simply take some of our nail polish remover pop it onto a bit of tissue wipe it over the chassis and that will remove any grease that's on there and within a minute or two that nail polish remover our degreasing agent has evaporated. As part of this treatment we're also going to paint the insides of the wheel arches because they too would be black on a real vehicle. So once again degreaser, small amount onto uh, a cotton bud and just a quick white round the wheel arch areas, all four corners of course front and back both sides that's all it takes that will uh, that will apply some degreasing agent there and we'll be ready for our black paint so now we're ready for painting and uh, I'll start with the wheel arches and uh, then move on to the chassis itself and for this particular piece of work I'm going to be using one of my uh, Tamiya acrylic paints uh, they're very good but the main reason for using acrylic in this particular instance is that if something goes wrong and I were to get some paint down the side of the vehicle where I don't really want it it's very easy to remove so we're just dropping paint into the wheel arch area from the brush just one or two movements that's all you need paint is applied just round the back of the wheel there as well there's enough paint on there for that touch more paint round the wheel arch there down the side and then if we turn the model on its side we've got a small area there of course that we haven't treated so we'll just run the paintbrush around there like that and that's it 
and that's all you need to do. So with our wheel arch areas completed it's now time to apply some paint to the chassis. Again we don't need too much and if it needs more than one coat then so be it. And we'll just start working it in along the chassis. Takes a little bit of time. So that's all there is to it and we'll come back to you once this is complete. So there we are, first coat applied. That'll dry to a matte black finish. I might need to give it a second coat, we'll see how we go once it's dried. I should also say that because I want this to be something that somebody new to modelling would attempt, if you don't feel confident enough in taking your black paint to the very edge of the model then don't stop short of the edge you can always come back to it for a second go once you feel that you've developed your skills sufficiently step two in improving our model bus will involve looking at the wheels this is a different model to the first one uh, this is a coach and you can see here that it had originally red plastic wheels obviously that's not what we were looking for on this particular build so these have been uh, treated in silver we uh, take the tyres off of course to avoid getting any paint on the tyres and then once the wheels are dry the tyres will go back on so this is the front wheel with the tyre off and here you can see the back wheel with the tyre on The very last and easiest thing that we can do to improve our model bus is to apply some decals. And uh, you'll recognise this guy, this one features in my intro. Uh, it's a code free model that I, I built quite some time ago. It's getting on for 10 years old this now. But uh, here we've got an example of an advert applied. And simply just doing that gives the model much more realism and you can buy these uh, decals on uh, eBay and other online sites. They're not too much money to buy. They're easy to apply for the most part and uh, they will give your model an enhanced appearance and make it more real. So that's it. Three simple things we can do to improve our, our model buses black chassis, detail on the wheels and uh, some decals to give these models a bit more realism. I should say before this video ends that if you do this please do not assume that you will increase the value of your models that's simply not how it works and in some cases you may decrease the value of the models as well because many collectors of course look for the original item in the original packaging so please don't be going ahead and doing any of this if you're interested in potential resale value of a collection at any point okay that about wraps it up for this video there should be stuff all over the screen for you to click on and enjoy please remember to subscribe take care bye for now stay safe